Not sure on how to set up your first PPC campaigns on Amazon? Well, by the end of this video, I will share with you my techniques that will help you set up your first PPC campaigns and within minutes, so be sure that you stay tuned. For the best Amazon FBA tips and tricks and advice, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new content every single week. One of our newest students was able to scale his very first product to over $10,000 per month in under two months of working with our team. So if you'd like to get involved, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a very special announcement. Now, if you're new to Amazon FBA, you probably have heard the term PPC or maybe you haven't. So let's go into what really Amazon PPC stands for and what it is, right? So PPC stands for pay per click. And what it is, it's simply a method of advertising to help you rank and scale um, your product to the top of the pages, right? So as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm gonna link right here somewhere, um, your product, your product listing gets thrown all the way in the back of the searches when you first launch it on Amazon, right? When you first create a brand new listing, literally no one can see you. And 80% of sales happen among the top 10 sellers on page one. So you may be thinking, if 80% of sales happen among the top 10 sellers on page one, and if I'm getting thrown all the way in the back of the searches, how the heck is it that I'm gonna generate any sales? Well, PPC is one of the methods where you can utilize to pay Amazon simply to start showing you up on you know certain pages for a very you know for a specific amount of um, uh, bids or very for a specific amount of uh, cost right per click. So let's say if I am selling a T-shirt, a navy blue uh, button-up T-shirt, let's say that's my keyword. So I'm bidding you know if if I want to show up for that keyword, I know for sure that this keyword is going to generate me you know X amount of sales or has this amount of um, monthly search results, then what I can do is I can bid for this keyword so that every time, you know, someone searches that keyword, my product shows up. Now, the way I get charged or the way I pay Amazon for that is not per search, but it's per click. So for everyone that clicks on that keyword, I get charged. Now, how much I get charged is how much I'm willing to bid for that keyword. And of course, the highest bidder for the most part shows up at the top of the searches. Now for you to know that there are two major you know, types of, of uh, PPC campaigns. There's a manual campaign and then there's an automatic campaign. A manual campaign is where you tell Amazon, I want you to, you know, to spend money on these specific keywords. The auto campaign is where you tell Amazon, Here's let's say ten dollars a day, and I want you to uh, to to show my product to any different uh, keywords that people are looking for that are you know that are relative to my product, right? And then the different cons and pros of diff the two different campaigns structures I'm going to be talking about in just a little bit uh, at the end of the video. Now the winner from last week's giveaway is Daydula Zig. Daydula's congratulations. Now if you'd like to be entered to win in our weekly giveaway for my step-by-step -step guide on how to launch on Amazon, be sure to drop in the comment section below BJKU. So as I mentioned earlier that there are two major parts of the actual uh, PPC campaigns. There's the automatic campaign and then there's the actual manual campaigns. Now the manual campaigns itself has different branches of uh, campaigns as well. There is a, like a kind of a how you would bid, right? So there is what is called a um, exact match bid, there is a phrase match bid, and then there is a broad match bid. Now, what is the difference between those three? So with a exact match bid, if I am telling Amazon that I want to, I want you to show my product for um, iPhone 10 cover case, Amazon is only going to show me when someone types that very exact uh, phrase, right? The, the, the goal is that this um, exact match campaign is usually the highest, um, you know, the highest profitable, right? So it's the most profitable campaign because you would have first launch the other campaigns, which is a, an automatic campaign, and usually the broad match to collect data, and then from that data you take them, and then you put them in your exact match. So usually the exact match should have your lowest A cost possible for the actual uh, most profitable uh, uh, you know, dollar amount, right? So that's the first match type. The second match type is the phrase match. Now what the phrase match is, if you tell Amazon that I want you to show my product for iPhone, 10 cover case, if someone were to put another word before or after or in between this 
phrase, you will still show up for Amazon, right? So that usually, um, I personally don't exactly like phrase match. It's just kind of weird, to be honest with you. Uh, but that is another way for you to bid for your, uh, uh, you know, for your campaigns or for your keywords. Now, the third manual campaign is a broad match. And that usually is what you would launch your product with uh, when you first you know, create a listing on Amazon and you first create a, a launch because you want Amazon to go out there and generate as much results possible so you can take those results and put them in your exact match. So what you do is you simply uh, give Amazon basic information. So let's say instead of giving long-term keywords and it's usually short-term keywords. So um, it's usually either one or two words. I would suggest at least two word phrases in this match type, which is um, iPhone, cover case or iPhone 10 or um, you know like a shirt like navy blue shirt or uh, blue shirt right so you give Amazon the ability to now if someone puts in a word before after in between or at least one of those words are included in the phrase match that the customer is searching then your product will show up for them and then what you do is you simply you can actually Amazon can give you an exact match uh, description of the actual uh, phrase that the customer searched for and you take that phrase and you simply put in your exact match and that's when your you know your all of your profits are made now the other kind of um, uh, campaign match or the uh, you know uh, manual campaign is also ASIN uh, targeting which is simply going after a specific ASIN right now um, if you guys have ran any type of um, you know campaigns on Amazon before and you've maybe generated your uh, your targeting or your auto targeting uh, uh, report you'll probably see that there are a bunch of ASINs that someone clicked on and found your product maybe either clicked on or bought it or whatnot right so when you go and click on an actual listing right below every single listing it's gonna say products related to or it's gonna say uh, uh, products uh, sponsored products right related to as well so what this is is that these people are simply bidding for your ASIN or that ASIN that you clicked on initially so that they can show up under those listings usually what I like to do is I like to go for products that are you know um, I would take let's say 20 products I would say five of them compete against or go you know bid for the the, the um, your top competitors and then the other ones go after those that actually have bad reviews because when someone clicks on this product and it's got a bad review and you show up under with better reviews it's very likely that they're going to click on your product and buy it rather than this product that has bad reviews now one thing you also want to know about ppc campaigns is the bid strategy how do you bid for the manuals for the kit for the auto you're simply giving amazon money and then it's going out there i usually don't like to launch campaigns unless i'm spending at least ten dollars right as far as your um you know your manual campaigns go there are three different ways of you to, to, to that's going to tell you on how to bid, right? So for your phrase or for your broad match, you want to bid the lowest. So there is something called a suggested bid. Amazon is going to suggest to you that for this specific keyword, other people are bidding from this number to that number. So let's say you, the suggested bid is 50 cents to a dollar. For your broad match, you want to bid the lowest, which is 50 cents. For your phrase match, you want to bid kind of in the middle, so 75 cents. For your exact match, unless if this keyword is proven, you don't want to go all the way to the end. You want to go maybe like 90 cents. But if you know for sure this keyword has generated me sales in my you know broad match or my phrase match or my auto uh, auto campaigns, and I know for sure this keyword has you know converted uh, clicks to sales at a very low A cost, which is uh, uh, you know the 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 net profits you're making per keyword then what you want to do is you want to bid the highest, right? So you want to go at a dollar or maybe even about five to 10% above the highest suggested. So if let's say it's 50 cents to a dollar, you want to go to even a dollar five, dollar 20 or dollar 10 or dollar 20, right? And that's how I personally like to optimize and like to create the bids for my campaigns. Now, I really hope that you got answers to your quest and your questions here and that you found value of this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also share with your friends and drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know how, you know, what you thought of this. Now, another thing is if you're like, you know what, Bashar? This sounds awesome, I love it. I really wanna get started with Amazon because I see the potential of it, but you know what? 
And instead of watching a thousand different YouTube videos, I would rather have a streamlined process and want to have someone that's experienced really walk me through the entire uh, you know, process step by step. Well, I have made available on my team's calendar a couple spots where we'll jump on a call with you for free, discuss exactly where you at, where you wanna go and how we can take you there. So if you'd like to be considered, there's a short application that you can fill out and book a time in the description below, the first link, go ahead and click on it and schedule a call with our team. But aside from that guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Be sure to check out those couple of videos that I've got here for you. Until next time, have yourselves a great day and take care.